my channel. I am currently sat on my kitchen floor, my brand new kitchen. If you haven't seen the kitchen renovation video, I will link that down below for you. It's so exciting and such a massive transformation. And I have been ordering stuff for the past two or three weeks now, just getting ready, little accessories, all that kind of stuff. So I have got it all here and I will be showing you exactly what I bought and exactly what's gonna go in my new kitchen. I'm going to start off with what is in this box here. Now, just a little disclaimer, some of this stuff is gifted, but I will link everything in the description box below, and I will put a little star next to what was gifted, and then obviously there will be no star on the stuff that I bought, just to clear that up before we start. So, in this box here, I have a candle from Flicker and Flame. Now, they nicely gifted me a couple of different things um, through Instagram, they contacted me, and this candle was one of the things they sent. Now, I was gonna have this in another room, but after I saw the colors, I thought it would look great in this kitchen. So this is their Prosecco candle, and it's got the nice rose gold lid, which obviously goes with the handles and everything like that, so it smells so good as well. And I thought it would be really nice to have a candle in the kitchen, obviously to get rid of like food smells and things like that, and I've never had a kitchen candle per se, so I thought this might be a cute little addition to the room. Now I think these are about 10 or 11 pounds, but don't quote me on that because I might be wrong. But this is the Prosecco scent and it smells absolutely incredible, so that's definitely going to be going in here somewhere. Next we have a, a very, very exciting parcel. Now I follow a lovely lady on Instagram called For The Love Of Living Life. I will link her profile down below because I got so much kitchen inspiration from her. She has such a beautiful house. And this was one of the things that I literally ordered straight away after I'd seen it. So, so this parcel is from Amara Living. Now, if you haven't seen Amara Living, they have the most incredible home stuff on their website. It's so, so beautiful. And I think I got the last three of these. I think there was four left and I bought three of them. But I did manage to find some similar ones on Amazon, so I will link those instead. These are the copper and marble pots. Now, they are bigger than I thought they were, so I'm going to be able to fit a lot in them. But I thought these would be amazing for sort of coffee and tea, like tea bags. I'm putting my sugar in, so every morning I can come in and sort of get my coffee out. And these were just a really nice thing sat on the side. So this is real marble, so it is quite heavy. And this is obviously copper, so, oh, it says they're from Bloomingville on the bottom, that's what it says. But yeah, they were from Amara Living. Now, I got these luckily in the sale. I wasn't expecting them to be in the sale, I just went in search of them. Um, so they were £33 each instead of 67 and I bought three of these, obviously one for tea, one for coffee and one for sugar. So I think these will go really nicely kind of next to my kettle and sticking with the whole copper and marble theme. I'm so, so happy with these, I absolutely love them and I've been waiting so long to get them out. <laughs> now, I did order a lot of stuff from Amazon because I have Amazon Prime so I get free delivery with most things and it's just easier. <laughs> and it's just easier to get most stuff from there. So, these are my brand new knives. They are kind of an acrylic sort of uh, just an acrylic case and they've got the black handle with the rose gold knives inside. Now I haven't actually opened this and seen what it looks like because I've kind of been leaving everything until now so I can open it all and get really excited and get everything out and never stop talking about my kitchen again. <laughs> so this is the actual knife block and as you can see they obviously all slot in this way. I think it goes this way around. They all slot in there and this is a clear cover with like a black plastic on the back and then in here we have the actual knives so the blade and the top and bottom of the handle are the beautiful rose gold and then the handle is this kind of it's like a rubber black handle which is really nice to hold actually some of the time these knives can be really uncomfortable but these ones are actually really nice so this is gonna look really really nice as a set sort of just on the worktop just ready for when I need them and we have oh, this huge, huge, exciting parcel. Now, I haven't had one of these ever before. Um, not one that I've used. I did have one that my mum gave me, but I never actually used it. And it was one of the ones that, where they discontinued the actual pods. So basically, 
I have a coffee machine. So I bought a Nespresso machine and I bought an espresso machine to match my kitchen, obviously. So this is the DeLonghi and Nespresso Latissima One machine. Now they do take the normal sort of um, Nespresso coffee pods, so they are just the normal pods rather than being like a different one. I know some other coffee machines take like weird pods and things like that, but I just wanted the simple one so I could just go to Nespresso and buy any pods I need whenever I wanted. I also only drink decaf, so it was really good to have the option of buying, I think there's four or five different types of decaf pods, so I basically bought obviously one of each, but that's in a different package, so we'll get on to that. It also comes with a little case like this, and it's got one of every single pod in it, obviously the ones that are actual caffeine I'll give to my mum because she has a Nespresso machine as well, but I will keep the decaf ones and I guess I can test out how to use it with these ones before I go on to my box of other coffee pods as well. So here's the decaffeinated ones and there is, oh, I'm gonna say all of these wrong, the Ristoretto, the Arpeggio, the Voluto, the Vivalto Lungo, Lung I don't know, I don't know how to say this, but those are the four decaf pods and yeah, those are definitely gonna be my ones. Now it comes in so many different bits and it's quite difficult to get out of the box but I will set it up properly and I will show you afterwards so you can kind of see what it looks like all set up and everything like that. I might show you using it, depends on how quick I kind of figure out how to work it or just keep an eye on my Instagram and I'll, I'll figure out how to use this. But it comes in this beautiful sort of pearly white colour and I just thought that went so well with my kitchen rather than having like a big bulky black coffee machine. Obviously I bought accessories to go with the coffee machine, so here we have the Nespresso pods. Now they come in these cute little boxes and honestly I think the way that Nespresso do their pods is really good. So you, they also send you one of, they also send you one of these if you order it. It's free to order but you kind of have to add it to your basket each time. And this is the recycling bag. So once you've used your pod and you've taken out the little empty pod, instead of putting it in the bin, you can pop it in one of these recycling bags and they take the bag away when they come and drop off your next order of pods. Now I think it's just really good because I don't really know how to recycle these pods otherwise and if they can use them again or use them in any different way, then that's really, really great. And I think it's a great thing to do as a company. And these are all of the different decaf pods. So you have to order a minimum of 50 pods, I think it is. So they come in packs of 10, like this, and they've got the names on the end. And obviously I ordered two of one of them just to get up to like the maximum because there's only four types of decaf, so that was only 40 pods. But these are the decaf ones, and I got a cute little thing to put all of my pods in, which means I'm gonna have to remember what flavor is what. But they're all decaf, so it's fine. But I also ordered one of these from Barista & Co. Now, you can get it off their website, but I bought this off Amazon, which meant I got free delivery, which is much better than paying an extra four pound or whatever for delivery. So this is going to sit on the side next to my coffee machine and hold all of the little pods inside. It is actually called a coffee pod cage, otherwise you could probably just use a different basket for it or anything that matches your kitchen to pop the pods in. But yeah, I thought these would look quite nice in here, sat next to the coffee machine. Now we move on to something else that I got from Amazon. I was looking for more kind of accessories and I wanted a clock, but I didn't want one that I necessarily needed to tell the time on because I've got sort of the clock on the oven and my phone and things like that. So I basically just bought this one because it was pretty. I love it, I love it. This is the first time I've got it out. This is the first time I've got any of this stuff out. This is a beautiful Unity clock from Amazon and it doesn't have the numbers, it just has sort of black um, rectangles all the way around, I guess you call them. This part on the top is rose gold and the hands and everything in the middle is are rose gold as well. I just thought it would go really well with the appliances because most of the appliances in my kitchen are black. So I thought it would go really nicely with that and hang nicely on the wall. I think this was also about $14.99 which is a complete bargain and I absolutely love it. Because some clocks can be ridiculously expensive and I don't understand why. But I just thought this would be a really, really nice addition. Um, I've got some artwork as well which I'm going to show you. So 
yeah, I just thought this was a really nice thing to add. Some of my new cupboards are slightly higher than the ones that I had before and the very, very top shelf, because they have three shelves instead of two, they are quite high and I can't necessarily reach everything right at the back or sort of reach them properly. So I bought a tiny, tiny little folding stool. Now I've always seen these and thought, hmm, they're kind of handy, but I don't think I'll ever need one. Now I definitely need one. They do them in all kinds of different colors. And again, this was from Amazon. I think it was about $7.99, absolute bargain. But obviously I bought white to go with the theme of my kitchen. They do all kinds of colors like red and black and blue and all those different types. So I just thought this was a really, really good idea to pop it open when I need to get to the top top shelf and I can just pop it in the cupboard kind of next to my washing machine or underneath my sink where I keep all the cleaning stuff and just keep it there for when I need it. Now we move on to the prints. Now this is by an artist called Sharon White. Her website is sharonwhiteart.co.uk. I'll obviously link everything below. And these are two beautiful prints from, I think it's the Trust Collection, these ones. Now I have got some other bits from her coming, but they haven't arrived yet, so I'll probably add those in at the end of the video when they do arrive. So these are, so this is the original art piece of artwork, and this is all mixed media, so it's not kind of like a painting or a photograph, it's got sort of sequins and gems and diamantes and net and everything all in with the actual artwork, and then this, this is a close-up shot of one of the sections of the piece of artwork as well. Now, this can be translated into phone cases. I've got a couple of the phone cases, um, cushions, aprons, tea towels, coasters, all kinds of stuff, and I've got some of that coming as well, so you'll see that at the end of the video. Now, I wanted these to kind of hang on the wall because I've never really had artwork in my kitchen, but I always think it kind of makes a room more homey to have artwork. So I picked up a couple of frames. Now these are from Wilco. These will just sit really nicely in the black frame up on the wall. I think I'm gonna pop them just on the one plain wall that I had in the room. Now you can grab the prints online from anywhere from about seven or 10 pounds, I think. And the frames I picked up for, I think they're about three, three pounds something or four pounds something each. So these were super, super cheap. I did look in Ikea and I did look on Amazon, but the Wilco ones, they were just the cheapest and when it's just a simple frame like this it doesn't necessarily need to cost the world now last but not least i really wanted to learn to cook steak in my new kitchen because i didn't really enjoy being in my old one so i wasn't really too bothered about learning recipes or cooking proper meals or anything like that but now i really want to get out all my cookbooks and learn to cook so many different things and steak was one of the things that i've never managed to cook before I only recently got into it and I've only ever eaten it out. I think I've only had it once cooked for me. So I bought myself a brand new griddle pan. Now I don't actually know if this is gonna be any good. I haven't tested out the pan. I don't know what it's gonna be like, but I didn't buy a cast iron one. I really wanted a cast iron one, but I didn't get it purely because the review said that the handle gets quite hot and I'm probably one of the people that would grab the handle and burn my hand and that kind of thing, so I didn't get one of those. So this is from Von Chef, and it's obviously got the griddle pan, and I liked the fact that it has the pouring on either side so you can pour out the fat if you need to. I think it would just be a really good idea for me to learn to cook steak in a proper griddle pan rather than trying to learn in a normal pan and messing it up and then getting scared and flustered. So I did just buy a nice griddle pan to cook proper steak in and you can also pop um, sort of tomatoes and loads of different other things in here if you want to properly, properly make a meal of it. So last but not least I have a couple of other bits that arrived. So these are from Sharon White Art, uh, I think it's sharonwhiteart.co.uk obviously I'll link everything down below. But I've got these beautiful beautiful coasters and these are from the Trust Collection and I've got, so the four coasters, and then I also got the chopping board to match as well. And this has the same sort of print on it, and it's also like that glass, like serrated glass type effect. Um, absolutely loving this print so much. And I also got one of her beautiful aprons. Now this is also from the Trust Collection, but this is a different print, and it's just covered in sort of this jewel print, and I absolutely love it, I think it's perfect. I've never had an apron before, but I probably need one, so this is definitely gonna come in handy. 
so that concludes my entire kitchen haul. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some ideas or inspiration. I'm really happy to show you all of my new accessories and I really hope you enjoyed the kitchen renovation because I'm so happy it's done and I've been waiting so long for a new kitchen and I just can't leave this room at all. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye.